What's up guys, welcome back to the Platinum Garage. On today's episode, I'm going to be deglazing the cylinder walls on my Ford 4.0 block using the Flex Hone by Brush Research. Now, as far as the parts go, I'll leave them all in the description with the links on where to buy them. Let's get started. All right guys, so the ball hone I have here is a four and one eighth inch, 240 grit. The way this works is that you have these little stones and as it goes in and out of the cylinder spinning, it creates a new cross hatch so your piston rings can seat well. The things you're gonna need for this job is your ball hone. You're going to need a drill. I use this electric Milwaukee one with variable speed. That way I can control how fast it's going by the squeezing of the trigger. And you're going to need a 10W30 weight oil. I use WD-40, works just as well. So the way the ball hone works, it has these stones on it. The stones can come in different grit. Like I said before, I'm using 240 grit. Now, as the stones are spinning, you pull up and down, and it puts a new cross hatch in the cylinder walls for your new piston rings. So I just wanna go over a couple of tips and tricks before I get started, and I show you how the process is done. As far as the lubricant, use a 10W30 weight, or you could use a lubricant such as WD-40 or Transfluid. On the 4.0 in the past, I've used Transfluid, works just fine. So now, as the flex hone is entering the cylinder, you want it spinning already. You do not want to put the flex hone into the cylinder and then pull the trigger. You already want it spinning. The recommended RPM is 500 to 800. You don't want to use air tools or anything that's real high speed. Again, I'm just using a simple Milwaukee drill with variable speed on it. And now the honing time should be about 20 to 45 seconds, depending on how bad your cylinder really is. I usually go 10 seconds, stop, see what it looks like. Your cross hatch will depend on how fast you're going up and down. And then after you're done, I go through and pressure wash my engine block, clean it up real nice to prep it for paint. So the first step is to seriously, and I mean seriously, lubricate the ball hone, and the cylinder. Like I said before, you want the ball hone spinning before it enters the cylinder. Now you pull it out and then you let go of the trigger. You do not want to stop the ball hone in the cylinder and then pull it out. That'll create scratches and not cross hatch. Once I'm done, I'm simply gonna take a paper towel, wipe out the cylinder and check, see how it looks. So in my case, the cross hatch is looking pretty good. I'm gonna, just gonna go a little bit faster as far as the in and out goes and then we'll be good to go. See that? It's beautiful. It's coming out great. So that's it guys. As far as honing a cylinder to put new piston rings, that's all there is to it. We just took those old cylinders, freshened them up, put some nice cross hatch in each one of them, and now we can go ahead and get our new piston rings installed. So that's it. All you need is a simple ball hone, some lubricant, degreaser for cleaning it up, and uh, your variable speed drill. As far as that goes, you can do it at home. Check the description for all of the tools. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks.